What's up you guys? I am back with another video. This I'm going to run you through how to use Ether Delta with MetaMask. And I've made another video on this before, but it was for Dragon Chain specifically. And I ran through the video really quickly because there's a lot of hype around Dragon Chain. It was only like 40 cents. So I was just trying to push out the video as fast as I could. I've been getting a lot of requests to do just a normal tutorial video for Ether Delta. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So first things first, we're gonna to want to download MetaMask and just head over to the Chrome Web Store, type in MetaMask, and I'll just link this in the description too. Click on that, add it to Chrome. And once you do that, you'll get this cute little fox in the top right corner. And it's gonna run you through um, the terms of service, click okay, and then it's gonna give you a seed. Make sure you write down the seed on a piece of paper. Take a picture of it with your phone maybe and then save the seed as a file as well because if you ever lose that seed there's no way you'll be able to recover your account in case you delete the extension your computer gets hacked etc so make sure you write it down once you do that you can open metamask and then you'll have these three little dots in the top right and you click on that and then do copy address to clipboard now you can paste this address anywhere that you have your ethereum so you can send your ethereum to metamask okay so once you do that you'll have your balance so I have $54 in this scenario. Now we'll go over to Ether Delta, and when you open up Ether Delta, and I'll link this in the description too, etherdelta.com, it's going to have MetaMask in this green little box in the top right corner. Now this is why MetaMask is so helpful because it's just a, a tool to communicate with Ethereum networks, and it makes our lives so much easier because if you came here without MetaMask, you would have to make a temporary account with Ether Delta and get this crazy long private key, all of this stuff, you know, it's such a hassle. But you'll notice right when I sign in, in this wallet section, it's just displaying my MetaMask wallet. So the first step's already done. Now what I need to do in order to buy or sell anything, I need to uh, send whatever I have in my MetaMask to the either Delta smart contract. And this smart contract is going to be what allows me to communicate with these buyers or sellers. So you need to make sure this step you don't have to do right now but before you buy or sell anything you need to make sure that you have the right token selected and all the listed tokens are on here if a token is brand new um it takes a minute to get added so this what i'm going to be buying because i want to buy this anyway is called get or guts tickets and i was looking through this list and i couldn't find it on here so the way I was just a quick tip, the way I found this was I looked it up on CoinMarketCap because it just got added yesterday on CoinMarketCap. And I clicked on chat, which op opened up the official Telegram group. And there's a pinned message at the top. And I clicked on the pinned message and it just showed want to buy get possible on decentralized exchanges. So then I clicked their either Delta link and it took me to the right page. So now I need to deposit my Ethereum into the either Delta smart contract. So a great resource is a uh, uh, resource is Ethereum ETH gas station dot info. And right now it's showing me that standard gas prices are 16 GWEI, which is actually pretty solid. So if the if these numbers were super inflated, like if standard was about 40, I would just wait because the gas the, the Ethereum network is congested. So the gas price would be too expensive for me to justify. So this is pretty reasonable. So I'll go back over. And I need to make sure that I have enough Ethereum in my MetaMask to cover all of my gas prices. It's always going to be pulling it from your MetaMask, right? So that means to go from here to the smart contract is going to cost roughly $5. And then to actually buy something with my Ethereum is going to cost another $5. And then that token will be up here. And then to pull back my token back to the wallet, which will be my MetaMask, will also be about $5. So I need to save roughly $15. So I'm gonna guess here, and instead of doing 0.04, I'm gonna do 0.037. And I'll click deposit. And then this should pop up my MetaMask right here, right? Now it'll default to four. Um, but So I'm gonna put in 21, which is $6, right? So it was telling me that this is 16, so maybe I'll do 16 to save some money. Um, as soon as you minimize MetaMask, that'll go away. So just click this and then I'll reopen it. So I'll do 16 and that's $5. So I'm going to submit that. Now here, it'll give you this link to, tra uh, to track the transaction. 
and this is going to take a minute so i probably cut the video and come back we're back i have my ethereum in the either delta smart contract now i just need to make a buy or sell order right if we were to use this down here it will post it to the order book and will become one of these green or red people. But this will expire after 10,000 seconds and you have to you have to pay a gas price to send it into the order book. So I personally would rather just buy from one of these sell orders. And the only way I would ever actually post an order is if the people trying to sell it were selling it way too high of a price. That's the only reason I would place an order. Um, so in this example, I'll just click this and then it'll automatically put in the amount that they're selling. And as you can see, that is way too much for how much Ethereum I have. So then you'll just play around with this number to try and figure out. So five, you know, six, I can go a little bit more, seven, and then I could do 7.3 or yeah. So 7.4 is the exact right amount that I could buy. And then I'll click buy. Now it's gonna open up the MetaMask gas thing again which sometimes can take a sec and there we go so it pops up and it'll default to four gas now something to keep in mind with this is the 14 gas or whatever that i did to get my ethereum into the smart contract took about like 15 minutes or so so if i were to do 14 again and once again this depends on the current network congestion but if i were to do 14 again I would run the risk of somebody else placing a buy order on this same person's listing and paying a higher gas price than me and them getting the transaction before mine goes through. That has happened to me before. So a way to counteract this would to be post a higher gas price, but right now it's pretty expensive. It'd be $12.50 for it. Um, and that would make it go through pretty quick and you would definitely secure this. But in this specific example, this is like a brand new coin on coin market cap. Not very many people know about it. It has really low volume. So I could probably get away with doing 14. And I'm actually not going to do this anymore because since I have such a little amount, I don't think it's worth it to pay the gas prices to buy this right now. I would be wasting $5. So I'm actually going to wait and deposit more Ethereum probably tomorrow and then buy this. So I'm not going to run you through this part, but it's pretty straightforward. You would do that. And then you would get another confirmation up here type of thing and you would open up the either scan and it would show you the exact same window I had before. Once that goes through, then you'll obviously see your Ethereum deplete and then this right here will fill in. So this would, in that example, have gone to 7.4 get uh, guaranteed whatever. So once you do that, then you have your get, your token, whatever, sitting in your either Delta Smart contract. And I mean, you could leave it there. It's not a good idea though. It's a very, very bad idea to be honest. So you're gonna to wanna to click the withdraw. And then here you're going to be withdrawing. So you'd be typing in 7.4 and then click withdraw. And then it would open up your MetaMask once again. And you will be putting in your gas price once again. And you can check over here on ethgasstation.info the current gas prices. And then once you pull that out, you will have all of your goods in your MetaMask. Now, once you do that, you won't actually see your tokens here because you need to add a custom token. So to add that, this is probably better for another video, but I'll just show you really quick. You would go to add a token and it asks for your token address, the token and the, dec uh, the decimals. So you go to etherscan.io to figure this stuff out. Now this works with any token. You go over here to view tokens and then I'll type in get and here you go. Oh, it's guaranteed entrance. So that's what it is because it's a ticket thing. And then here you have the contact address. So I'll do this, copy it and I'll go up to MetaMask and I'll do add token. I'll do that and then see it just automatically puts in get and it automatically has the right decimal and then I'll add. And then if I had a balance, if I actually had the guaranteed entrance tokens, then they would show up here. Um, the only tokens that you actually, oh no, it actually does do it when I have zero. So it, see, it sees that I added that. And now when I were to send anything to this address or in this example, when I withdraw from the smart contract back into my wallet, my wallet is actually just my MetaMask. So that's where I'll have it. 
Now, if you want to send tokens out of your MetaMask, you can do the transfer tab over here. So you can put in, like, let's say I had the 7.4. I could do 7.4 and put in an address and click transfer. That works too. Or you can use my either wallet, which this is what I would recommend. I would just do connect MetaMask with either wallet and then I would send it from here. I think that this is a better method um, personally. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope that that helped just to run you through really quick if you didn't catch everything about either Telta the first time. Right here is your Ethereum balance, which you will deposit into your either Delta smart contract. You'll pay the gas price. Then you will select whatever token you want. So when I click this, it'll change the order book and do all that. You know, there's all the different tokens you can look through here. You can scroll through this list, whatever you prefer. Then you will click a buy or a sell order, depending on what you're trying to do. You would adjust the amount to reflect your current Ethereum holding. You'll make the order. It'll pull up over here. You click the withdraw tab to withdraw it out. And then from there, you do whatever. You can leave it in MetaMask. You can or my either wallet, which is the same thing essentially because they're just communicating with each other or you can send it to an exchange or you can store them on your ledger, which that's what I recommend ultimately. So hopefully this helped kind of rambled on towards the end, but yeah, going to be back with more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I will have donation addresses in the description as well if you would like to do something along those lines. So cheers. Talk to you soon.